This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hi everyone, it's Vân Vu from Vietnam. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here in front of the Hanoi train station and today we're gonna travel from Hanoi to Da Nang. All right, let's go. the store by pulling it. Ah, why is it so hard? I have one pillow here, one blanket, just in case it gets too cold at night. There's a light over here, uh, a USB charger. The bed is it's okay soft, it's not too soft. You gotta climb here if you want to go to the upper bed. They have some lights, AC, and a hook that you can hook the clothes. Some space up here for you to put your carry-on and your belongings. The train is finally taking off. Time for me to discover the bathroom to see if it's clean because that's the most important thing I look at whenever I go. Good thing that they have soap and toilet paper. That would do it. Okay, so I think I just got train sick now. It is, <laughs> it is not as smooth as I thought. Oh, okay. So if you go from Hanoi to Da Nang, I suggest you to go uh, at night because you can sleep and then after that at around noon time, you're gonna see Dao Hai Vân. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning, okay? So here is where you're gonna put the hot water. Uh, this is not boiling because it's only 95.4 uh, Celsius. So yeah, first you're gonna take this out. And then to have the hot water, you can just hold the hot and the clock at the same time. Nước nóng, nước nóng. Cho em nhiều tí ạ This reminds me of chicken feet It smells so good guys Oh my gosh First meal of the day mm. So good Well, it's just hot though. So this is 40 000, right? uh, You can actually buy lunch here. It's 40,000 Viet Nam Dong um, per meal. Chị ơi, em có thể quay suất ăn của chị được không? Để giới thiệu cho mọi người. Um, thôi được rồi, đấy để em để camera gần hơn. Đây. For 40,000 Viet Nam Dong, you can get this. Uh, spring roll, rice, tofu, uh, chicken I believe, pork, and cabbage. <laughs> Before getting to Haivan Pass, let me shout out to our sponsor today, Squarespace. Squarespace has uniquely awesome templates to build your online presence. If you want to be a blogger or have your own e-commerce store, you can easily do it on Squarespace because they have all the essential tools for you, such as email marketing, analytics, and even scheduling. What I love the most about Squarespace is that they have webinars and forums to teach new people how to use Squarespace and connect with the community. 
Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash what the fall to save 10% off the first purchase of your website or domain. I think we're gonna go to Hyven Pass soon. Where are we? I don't even have internet connection. I don't know where we are right now. I'm still hungry, but luckily I bought tons of Vietnamese snacks right here. And let's see what we got. All right, so we have some Vietnamese mixed fruit chips. I ate it a lot when I was in the US. And in here it has jackfruit, bananas, taro, uh, sweet potatoes, fried chips. And then we have ses bon shredded chicken cake. I got some Yomot milk here. This one is strawberry, orange, and this one is blueberry. And we have some uh, matcha green tea uh, biscuits. That's pretty good. I love matcha. Lastly, Dorito, nacho cheese. Yeah. Okay, so let me sanitize my hands and then we're gonna have some mukbang. <laughs> Okay, here is some jackfruit. Mmm, crunchy. Wow. Mm, very good. Sweet. It's like zuok in Vietnam. Zuok is like shredded pork, but here is shredded chicken. So here are the pros of traveling from Hanoi to Da Nang. Um, the first thing I think it was a very very good experience. The sightseeing, it's very beautiful. You can see the mountains, the farms, the animals, the trees, and the beach. The Haiban Pass definitely the highlight of this trip. So the second pro is that they have AC on the train. I can't stand it if they don't have AC on the train because right now in Vietnam it's really really hot and sometimes the AC can be colder at night so you can tell um, the person who um, is in the blue uniform like me right now <laughs> to adjust the AC for you. Also, if you forget to buy food or snacks to go on the train, uh, there's always a lady come by and then she's gonna sell a bunch of stuff like noodles, sausages, dumplings, eggs, boiled eggs. To be honest, the train doesn't take long at all. If you're a light sleeper like me, the train is a little bit shaky and the first cons I want to talk about is the noise. It's pretty noisy even at night because um, children are crying, uh, they're playing music, and then people just come in and out because the train actually stopped at some station to pick up some people so now I have my two new roommates luckily they are very quiet the second con is cleanliness um, for me the bathroom it's a little bit too small and it's um, sometimes it's just out of toilet paper and it's always uh, over flooded yeah if you are an adventurous you can go from Hanoi to Da Nang by train however it's gonna take a lot longer compared to um, if you take the plane and actually the price ticket is kind of similar is not much difference it's actually sometimes it's actually even more expensive than going by a plane but if you are an Instagrammer you just want to take some nice pictures I suggest you go from Hue to Da Nang it's only two or two and a half hours so you don't have to stay on the train very long and you can still take picture of the Haiban Pass. All right so it looks like we're here at Da Nang train station and people are waiting outside but yeah 
let's go. Oh my gosh, it's so hot right now, guys, in Da Nang. And as you guys can see, people just get off the train to buy some snacks. So yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna end the video here today. Thank you so much for watching me uh, 14 hours in the train. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have all of my journey recorded on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, subscribe me and see what we're gonna do next in Da Nang. <laughs>